Hey guys, uh, Jobin here. So I did a little bit more testing with this game and I figured out I could get 173 to do just a little bit more. So I'll be also showing that in this video after the 172 uh, showcase as well as the crash log at the end. Here we are testing in 1.72. Oh my. So there are some compression potentially it looks like. Interesting. Let's see if I can uh, bypass this here. Not accepting input. Oh, so turning on audio seems to help. Yeah, it appears to stop hanging here. Let's go ahead and test this in the version. The audio is off. Wow, disabling. Oh, never mind. Wow, that is a lot better. A lot better. And I believe that is where it stopped. So I figured out that on CMU 173B, if I go over here to CPU and change the cycle based timer, it will be quite a bit faster and is not an actual regression of 172. So, so as you can see it's a lot faster than it was on 172. And we now get just a little bit more in game. As you can see from the model, they look a little bit better. Uh, except for this white light on here and the black screen and the, and the bottom left. And so that's as far as I've gotten it to go on 173. And here is the crash log of what's really going on. It appears that everything is working fine up until it reaches this point where it says that there is an invalid scan buffer alignment. And with that, that wraps up testing for uh, LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens on CMU 173 and 172. Thank you for watching.